Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy On Demand and welcome back to another project run through. You know, this is one of those rare neighborhoods that I've never worked in. This is an airport community over in, in the Woodstock area. Uh, and this homeowner called us out to kind of redo his deck. He's got a beautiful saltwater pool out here. Uh, and uh, we're coming out to bid replacing all the decking down here. So he's got uh, a mix of composition and it, it's too bad we didn't get to him about six years ago. We could have saved a lot of this wood. This is old 20, 25 year old uh, pressure sheet of wood, which it's the best thing in the world. You can't even buy that stuff anymore. The thing to remember with decks is whether we do it or Mickey Mouse does, whoever does it, if you're using wood, which we prefer over the synthetic Trek stuff um, for a number of reasons, um, you just got to keep it stained every couple of years. So if you've got a deck system and you can see how expansive his deck is up here, we're only working on the, on the lower regions down here. So we're going to replace this five quarter by six board all the way around with new pressure treated. We're gonna replace all this decking here all the way around with five quarter pressure treated. The difference with us is this was actually hand nailed. And so the splitting is minimized because he hand nailed it, whoever did this years ago. But everybody else that comes out and builds next decks now, they just wanna drive screws through it and they'll split the wood. Uh, and so you can see where it goes, goes bad. All of his railing is in pretty good shape. Uh, the, the top board, on his rail all the way around. This top five quarter board here is in good shape, this one. So we'll leave this all the way around. But the top, the actual top cap we'll replace and we'll replace the bottom boards down here. A lot of these are warped all the way around, they're miscut. So we can go ahead and fix that. The posts are all in great shape, so we don't have to do anything with that. Um, the trick with this pool is that uh, it's got galvanized hangers, joist hangers underneath this deck under here that's supporting the two by tens that they built this deck with. And anywhere near the salt water, that salt is corroding it. So those joist hangers are gonna to need to be spray painted first, and then we'll supplement those and, and screw them in. Everything here is nailed, and we only use screws. Uh, you can see where he started to come in and do some stuff himself. This is new wood, and because it wasn't nailed or screwed down, uh, you can see where it's already starting to warp. When you get down underneath here, and you start to look at what he's got, you can see down in here, if you look in this corner right here, this joist hanger was nailed uh, and that galvanized material, the salt water just ate it up. So anywhere close to the deck, we're gonna replace those hangers, we're gonna pull them out. They split a lot of these joists because they nailed everything. So they split them. Some of them we're gonna have to sister, which means just screwing another two by eight or two by 10 next to it for support. They don't look like they're rotted except right around the pool. Uh, and we're really not gonna be able to discover all of that until we're able to pull everything up. Um, but all the joist hangers that are within two, three feet of the pool, we're gonna spray those, spray paint them with Rust-Oleum first and then install them. And that'll minimize the corrosive effect of the salt. It's really a beautiful deck. And so as we come down across, we'll re replace the top railing all the way through here. The balusters are all in great shape. They don't meet code, but he's not selling the house. And if he did, they need to be four inches off center. These are balusters. And his are about six or seven, some, some as much as eight inches off center. And so you could install every other one or you could put a lattice across that, but then you'd give up this view. He's just got a great spot over here. Um, we're gonna replace these stair treads right here as part of our job. We'll get the cap all the way around. Some of the pieces were okay, like the cap on this gate was okay. This bottom piece was okay. But this railing right here, we'll start here all the way around, replacing it. And then for some reason, one of our sales guys came out and looked at this job and, and he put down that we're replacing a ton of two by tens and uh, we don't see that, you know, coming to look at it today, that's why I came out. So this appearance, this is a doubled up rim board out here on the edge. So this two by tens all the way around here are doubled up all the way and they're in great shape. They just need to be stained. Um, the only area that we saw that we would probably do some repairs on is this right side towards his hanger over here, uh, right in here. This two by was miscut right here. So from this joint back down to the corner, we'll replace those two just to make it one solid contiguous piece right there. The rest of it looks good. It's just a matter of staining it and cleaning it up. And we'll give him a price to do that as well if he wants, but he could also do it himself. So you can see how this, was, this deck was constructed. So you got two by eights here and they nailed them. These hangers are still in pretty good shape. When the guys have the deck pulled apart, they're gonna come in here with these remaining holes and just drive some screws in here for additional support. 
you can see where the deck is pretty tight, but because they nailed it, uh, it's pulled the, the outer rim board is actually pulled away in a few areas. You can see the gapping all the way through here. Um, only in a few places where the deck has settled, the posts have settled, that kind of a thing. So my guys will actually come through and as part of this project, they'll drill some, they'll drill some pilot holes all the way through here and connect in the joists from the rim board wherever they can. Um, ideally, what you'd like to do is you would have liked to have done that in the beginning and, and had your, your screws protected with this outer board. Uh, and we can't do that this time around. So, uh, but we do tons of deck repairs. This is the one, this one here is just a little bit unusual. Uh, and so I decided to come out and get, get eyes on it. But we do so many deck repairs and it's really hard. If he wanted to replace this whole deck, he'd have 10 companies out here tomorrow because between these two decks, he's looking at about $60,000 if he was to start from scratch and redo both of them. Um, obviously he's nowhere near that just doing the, the repairs, but it's a lot of work. And the trick with these jobs for customers is, you don't mind spending the money, but you wanna get it done right. If you got somebody doing a deck and they're not drilling pilot holes, uh, you don't want them on your job. And we tell customers all the time, even if you have cash for a big job like this, you're better off to go ahead, if you, unless you have a relationship with the contractor, make sure they accept credit cards, because if they don't, there's not gonna be any warranty in this work. And they might just take your deposit and skip. And we've seen a ton of that lately, especially on sites like Home Advisor. Home Advisor tries to screen people and they do the best they can with it, but all they can really do is kick a contractor off. Uh, and so there's a lot of lead service companies out there where contractors will pay for the leads. And the, that service is not guaranteeing the quality of who you're getting. They'll just kick them off after a while if there's too much trouble with them. And you can see with the tracks, like this is tracks material right here. This is older generation tracks. And one of the reasons I don't like didn't like that product is it doesn't wear well um, and it'll rot as well because it, it was a wood composite they're done a lot better with that product now uh, it'll last longer we just don't like it it has a higher radiant heat build on it so when you have a deck like this in the sun that stuff you can't walk across it'll burn your little footies uh, versus wood doesn't quite get that hot so we prefer wood uh, but you can see all this right here is <clears throat> second third generation tracks so, eh, some of it held up some of it didn't this is an older piece over here. That's second generation over there. Um, but you can see even with their material, I'm trying to show you like here, you see the split, uh, where's it? right there. See that split? You can see all the splits. There they screwed it in, but with a square drive, but they didn't, uh, no pilot holes. Trex has a better system now where they actually anchor from below and that avoids all these holes and pits. So you can see where it's split again through here everything split wherever it was screwed because they didn't use pilot holes. And this is brand new wood that's barely been down. It's only been down a few weeks. See the split? Because they didn't drive pilot holes in it. And that's why, you know, this customer runs his own, he has a really cool business. They run a, uh, a hot air business. Very, very cool stuff. And, uh, you know, most people are better off doing what they do and call the professional in to do the actual work. It's me and my brother and 30 guys running all over Metro Atlanta. This will be a fun project. We'll knock this thing out in a few days and get on to the next one. You can reach us at 770-912-2829. Uh, my brother and I have been out here for over 25 years now. we got a crew of 30. We're all over the place. Just be patient. That's the one caveat we have with everybody. It's just hard to, to get around to everyone that wants us. But you can be patient. We're great contractors, and we'll get her done for you. I'm Andy. See you at the next house. Bye for now.